we are here on the very final day of the Quran competition, which has been ongoing for some time. Started from the sub counties, culminated at the final competition held in this hall the last two days. As a county, through our Department of Education, Social Services, and Family Affairs, we will continue to support the Quran competition. We will continue to support integrated schools, because the madrasas for us are integrated schools, because we believe the best way to instill the good culture of Islam in our youth so that they get nurtured, they get nurtured in the right environment. It is for us a mitigating factor against radicalization. Because it's our belief that the best way to stop getting kids radicalized is to teach them the version of their religion, which is right, which is correct. is noble. Terror has no place in Islam. Terrorists are not amongst us. We don't regard them as Muslims. Those who terrorize the innocent. And they will use every opportunity and every social dynamics that favors them. When they come to our counties here, which are predominantly Muslim counties, they blow up our communication masts. They mine our roads to blow up our vehicles. But when they go to other counties, such as they're doing in the coast, they kill people discriminately. Here, because we're all Muslims, they kill us indiscriminately. But because they want to cause tension between peace-loving Kenyans along religious lines, when they go to counties where Muslims and Christians live together in bigger proportions than we do here, they appear to be killing non-Muslim Kenyans. It's just a ploy. They're just using the social dynamic. When they come to our territory, I don't rule out that they will use clan and sub-clan and sub-sub-clantations because that's a part of our dynamics. So we are doing this so that we can teach our youth and bring them up in a righteous way, which way has no place has no space for terror and terrorism. I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody who's been involved. The parents who are bringing up their kids in the right way by teaching them the Quran. 
as Muslims. We believe that is, there is no better handbook for mankind than the Quran. And if mankind can live by the Quran, we believe we'll have no problems in this world. And it's because of that that we're teaching our kids the Quran. And we want them to compete in doing the right things. And that's why we're making them compete in the Quran. I want to thank the parents, the students, the teachers, the organizers, the ulumas who were involved. I want to thank my county minister of education and his team who participated in the organization. And next year, God willing, we will build it up all the way from the ward level.